Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Uh, this is going to be for Taurus uh, for your August 2022. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what your guides and your ancestors want you to know. And uh, we'll finish off the read to see uh, what you need to work on, what else you need to know, what to look out for. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other places. Placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Also, a quick note that these messages are not really meant to be crosswatched, twisted, flipped, or reversed. Okay, uh, these, uh, this reading is more for uh, the Taurans that are currently in the path of healing, spiritual growth, and personal growth. Okay, so um, Taurus, let's get started. Tell me about Taurus. What does Taurus need to know from their guides and their ancestors right now? What does Taurus need to know from their guides and their ancestors right now for August 2022? What does Taurus need to know? Okay, let's see what we have for you guys. All right, we have the Strength card, Leo Energy, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Seems like you guys have built a very, very, very strong foundation for yourself, Taurus, when it comes to your money and your career. The Queen of Pentacles. Seems like you guys have overcome a lot in the Five of Pentacles here. Seven of Swords and the Chariot. Okay. So Cancer Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the Queen of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here is that I feel like you know, with the help of your guides and your angels, perhaps your um, the universe and the divine, you know, I feel like, you know, you've overcome a lot because I feel like you lost a lot when it comes to your energy, when, when it comes to your money, but there's an energy of definitely overcoming this, okay? Or that you will overcome it if you're in the middle of it, okay? Tell me about the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? I think the most important thing is that if someone here has taken advantage of you in the past regarding your energy, regarding your money, you have to keep in mind to sort of like look out for that. Yeah, have strong boundaries with people. If you guys have weak boundaries, um, you know, build that strong foundation for yourself, strong boundaries in and around you so that people don't take advantage of you. You know, when you have leaky boundaries, you know, it's very easy that someone could see that crack and they'll just go right in, go straight for it. We have the Six of Pentacles here in the Strength card. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. You know, the Eight of Swords. There's a fear of losing this. Yeah, there's a fear of losing this. You know, like I said, I feel like it's, it's really important to give your time and energy to people that are going to... sort of support you on your way and not bring you down or not drag you down because I feel like there's a situation where in the past people have really cut you down by taking a lot from you, not just money, but energy. I feel like you give a lot, you know, and, and I feel like you're trying to, you know, build that strong uh, boundaries uh, with people, not just with people, but maybe energetic boundaries too uh, with spirits. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, we have the King of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Three plus five is eight. Seems like this is a, like a, a power couple situation here. And the King to the Queen of Pentacles. So, I, you know, you could be dealing with someone here that, that has taken things from you. But there's an the energy of definitely overcoming. Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Chariot. In the King of Swords, okay. So are you this? It seems like you're this masculine here, uh, 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 Taurus. There is an energy of walking away and protecting yourself here. So I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are asking to protect your energies from people. 
that take advantage of you. I do feel like you built this foundation here in a romantic relationship, but I feel like this person was just taking from you, was just spending your money, and this person was not doing anything. So I feel like there's a huge shift on how you um, how you uh, give your energy, how you connect with people, how you interact with people here too. Okay, I feel like you're smarter about it now. What else does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to work on? What does Taurus need to look out for for August 2022? All right, we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Fool. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. And then the Ten of Cups. Wow. I don't know. I, I feel like... I feel like there's someone here that's coming in. Whoever this is, this is, a, this is an individual who's an opportunist here. But I'm getting that. What happened here is that I feel like you're getting the last laugh. Even though this person took things from you, you know, I feel like you're overcoming this and I feel like you're getting the last laugh sort of thing here. Okay, we have a fool in the three of wands. So I feel like you're looking towards the future or that you're excited about moving towards your future here. And I feel like your future consists of success and happiness here okay you know perhaps you're doing this on your own or that you're doing this with somebody here but i feel like someone here is trying to snake their way trying to take advantage of you because of the energy that you're giving out um let's see what else we have queen of wands why is the queen of wands here tell me about the queen of wands temperance sagittarius energy page of pentacles and the five of swords whoever this is this person plays a lot of games this person's going to come in peaceful. This person's going to come in balance. But I feel like this person has an agenda here. Okay. It's sort of this energy of like sort of like wanting to get back at you. Wanting to get back at you because you sort of like reach this like emotional fulfillment here. Or that you're overcoming uh, 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 um, the setback that you had with this individual. Like I said, I feel like this person was trying to take you down by draining your energy, by taking your things here. But I feel like that didn't work. The uh, fool. We have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Tell me about the Three of Wands. We have the King of Wands here. Wow, interesting. We have the King to Queen of Wands and the King to Queen of Pentacles. This is a soulmate that you're dealing with here that was trying to take advantage of you, trying to manipulate you. But like I said, I feel like you're taking matters into your own hands and now I feel like you're looking towards the future here or that you're creating a future, better future for yourself and that you're leaving this person behind. Tell me about the Six of Wands here. Page of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. And the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, it seems like you're finding your freedom here. Okay? Or that you're learning to surrender. Learning to let go. Because it could be a situation that you're learning that you can't change someone. Okay? You can't force someone to change. You know, it could be a situation that you put yourself into this person's shoes. Let's say if someone here forced you some, uh, forced you to do something that you're not ready to do, it gnaws at you. Even though if this is like, you know, you're coaching this person, even though this is the right thing to do, you know, right thing for this person to do, this person's just not ready for it. Yeah. So I feel like you're learning a lot here. Uh, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I do feel like this person's spying on you here. I do feel like this person's trying to rush back in to get a piece of that bliss that you're enjoying right now. Okay? So, um, you know, continue to have those strong boundaries because I feel like this person's trying to break those boundaries. Okay? So, uh, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Okay? All right. Bye, guys.